someone is joining us who wants to help bring Hollywood back to life. Now turning to uh, some of those big issues behind the dual strikes that have shut down most of Hollywood. Actors and writers are now on the picket lines, including Guardians of the Galaxy star Sean Gunn, who you may also remember from the Gilmore Girls and other projects. Both the actors and writers say the shift to streaming has gutted their ability to make a living and both want better protections against the use of AI, which they say cannot replace human creativity. On the other side of the dispute, the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers claim they've, quote, offered, they offer, quote, a historic pay and residual increases, including protections. A quote note, a quick note, I'm sorry. Uh, some of CBS News staff are SAC after members, uh, but we work under a different contract than actors and are not affected by the strike. Only on CBS Mornings, Sean Gunn joins us right now. Good morning, Sean. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. It's, it's good to be here. Um, so, so let's jump right into it. You and many actors are asking for fair residuals, um, and that's from the streaming platform specifically. Why is that aspect important to you? Well, you know, there was an old bargaining agreement where the, the you know, the, you would get paid for every time that, if, if you did a television show, every time it aired, you would get paid based on the old agreement. Well, streaming came along and changed everything, and all of a sudden they started paying a licensing fee to own the product that you made in perpetuity, and they don't they don't pay based on how many times people watch it. They don't pay based on anything. They just pay based on uh, you know they they make some some kind of a of a, of a deal with the the production company. They buy the product for whatever amount of money, and then they can run it as many times as they want. And yeah. this is absolutely unfair. They uh, y y you know we we need to know if we're participating in the success of a program and if we are we should participate in that it's just yeah. it's it's uh it's common sense yeah so sean i mean you what you bring up is a good point it's been reported that for example the actors on friends over the years with all the replays on tv because of their deals they made millions and millions and millions of dollars each whereas there are stories of, of actors on streaming shows like Orange is the New Black. They're, they're in lots of episodes. It gets viewed millions of times, but they're making pennies, if anything, for those additional views. Happens to writers as well. There are stories there. Uh, and so the question becomes, though, from the streamer's perspective, uh, if we had an executive on, I'm sure they would say, hey, look, we're not making any money either, so we can't pay you if we're not making any money. What's your response to that? Well, first of all, we're asking for a percentage of the profits. So if you're not making any money, okay, we'll participate in that. But they, they, they're, that's, that's disingenuous on their part if they're saying, hey, we're not making any money because they won't reveal their numbers. Why not? Yeah. Why won't yeah. Netflix tell us how much money that they're making you know, uh, on their shows? Why won't they let us know how much each, each show streams? in a given day. They won't tell you any of that stuff. And I can, I can, I can promise you that when a streamer like, ne like Netflix says, we're not going to release our numbers, it's because they're screwing someone over somewhere. Mm. That's yeah. why they do it. That's why they the don't way, tell Netflix you is making money. Yeah. Uh, what the numbers are. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and we just want transparency. I mean, you know, tell us, Tell us what you're making, and if, if you're making less, okay, we'll share in your pain just like we share in your profit. But they're not, mm -hmm. they're not offering any of that. They're not offering us to, to, to share in, in their profits. They're saying, hey, we're going to be, uh, we're going to shut you out, not tell you anything about how much money we're making, and then we'll, we'll say, hey, we're, we're poor, it's, it's, you know, we're not making enough money. It's ridiculous. We should note that we reached out to Netflix uh, for comment. They declined to comment. Same thing with Warner Brothers, the makers of uh, the Gilmore Shocker. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> And you Shocker haven't heard that back. They don't, re that we they don't respond to comment. <laughs> they don't. They don't want to. Like if you guys, as journalists, ask them if you ever get them on the uh, on the phone. Ask them why won't you release your numbers? Why won't you let people know how much money you're making? They won't do it. Uh, but it's because they're trying to screw people over, and and so I'd be very 
I, I, I'd be very worried if I was a shareholder in Netflix. Mm. Like, oh, wait a minute. This company won't tell me how much money they're making? Why? Sean, there's another concern here, and it, and it deals with AI and, and certainly likeness and the work that you're putting out. Um, what's most concerning about the ability for, for, you know, essentially what a lot of actors, SAG, after members are saying could, could be stolen from them? Yeah, I, uh, you know, AI is a big, massive can of worms that everyone is just... Uh, opened up and we're all looking at these worms. Um, first of all, I would say it seems very, very clear that nobody should own your likeness in perpetuity. That seems obvious. Like yeah. a, 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 anybody out there, you don't, you don't have to be a, a, a Hollywood insider to know that it's not fair for somebody to own your likeness forever. Um, so we should make sure that that's not okay. But also, I think AI changes all the time, um, and I, I think that l let's let's look at it every year. Let's not sign an agreement where we, yeah. uh, you know, where we decide how actors are gonna are, are gonna be related to AI for five years plus into the future yeah. because we don't know where that technology is going. So I think it would right. be much Sean better to, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry to... To keep yeah. that short and... Yeah, yeah, You've go been, ahead, go ahead. I know, I can well, talk all I, day. Sorry, guys. I was going to say, tell us what you really think, but you really have. <laughs> I, I appreciate your candor this morning. Uh, I, do, I did want to mention to our viewers before we say goodbye, just that if any executive from any of the big streamers wants to come on, we'd be happy to, to have that interview and ask some of these questions. Uh, and they are publicly traded companies in many cases, I think all actually. So the overall earnings are known, but your point about the breakout for streaming is, is well taken and the number of views individual shows gets that is often shrouded. Sean Gunn, thank you for your candor once again. Appreciate you being on. Thanks, guys.